I'm Riley Winch with MOTV Forecast and we are tracking Winter Storm Harper, the latest winter storm to impact the northeast. Currently, Harper is expected to bring quite a bit of snow to our area, but the snowfall total forecast has become very challenging. And why don't we look at our setup right now? As we can see, we will be having a low pressure system moving up the coast, um, but exactly where that low pressure system tracks will determine how much snowfall we see. If that low pressure system uh, tracks closer to our area, we'll be seeing more rain and therefore lessen the snowfall totals. Um, but if it moves a little farther off the coast and away from our area, we could be talking about quite a bit more snow. Um, so I do want to point out um, what our snowfall forecast was looking 24 hours ago compared to now. Because if we do take a look at 24 hours ago, um, yesterday morning, um, we were uh, seeing potentially 8 to 12, maybe even 12 to 18 inches of snow in our area. Although throughout the day, the snowfall totals uh, got lowered a little bit as, you know, the track of the low pressure system um, was deemed to move a little closer to our area. Our latest forecast from today, uh, currently only expecting around 5 to 8 inches of snow in Mount Olive, although, although that is still very significant uh, snowfall. Um, but one thing that we definitely will be seeing is ice accumulation. Now this ice accumulation could be very significant. We definitely will be seeing a changeover from snow to rain at some point over um, the course of the storm and that really will uh, give us some ice. We could potentially be seeing over a tenth of an inch of ice, maybe even getting up towards a half of half an inch of ice. Uh, it does all depend on when and how long the changeover between snow and rain does take place. Definitely watch out for the ice potential as we head throughout the storm this upcoming weekend and prepare for possible power outages because of that. Now, if we do take a look at our five day forecast, we can see that the storm does move in tomorrow evening um, and last throughout Sunday morning. Although behind the storm, usually we're used to seeing uh, the temperatures warm up and melt a little bit of that snowfall that we saw um, with the storm. But in this case, we're going to be seeing the temperatures plunge to potentially the single digits on Monday, we, where we are expecting a high right now of eight degrees. And even Sunday night into Monday, we could be seeing a low of negative two degrees below zero. So um, that is significant cold. So whatever falls, whether it's rain, snow or ice, will, if it melted or if it was uh, liquid, and even the snow, everything will freeze over on Sunday evening um, heading into Monday and it's going to set up very slippery roads um, for maybe a longer duration than what the storm lasts. So uh, definitely prepare for a couple days of difficult travel after this storm and during it, of course. And in terms of snowfall forecasts, if you see um, five to eight inches here, just go a couple miles south, you could see one to three inches. So we are very close to that cutoff line for snowfall accumulation, which makes it so hard to forecast this storm. But the important thing is whatever falls will freeze over Sunday evening and create for some very dangerous travel. So thank you so much for joining me here on MOTV Forecast today. Stay safe throughout the storm. I'll see you next time. Signing off, it's Riley Winch.